Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Jay Johnson here, and this video is really in response to uh, Kim K's uh, exploding film container, but mine's a little bit different. Now, if you see what I've done here, I took mine, uh, the sun's kind of in the way, but I took mine and I just threw my igniter into a block of wood, and you can see my two wires there. I've screwed the cap down and then uh, duct taped it just so there's no air leaks. I didn't have any glue on me or plumber's goop, so I just did that. And with my film canister, what I do is I just pop it on top real tight, and it's got a hole in it. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a hole in it, and I think that that hole helps to uh, project the energy. You'll see how I put it together here. So what I do is... I put the canister on here, nice and tight, and I tape it down because I don't want it moving. Now what I've chosen as my fuel is this Osborne layout fluid remover. I doubt you're going to find it, but it's a lot like brake cleaner, so you could probably just find something like that. I didn't want to use hairspray or anything that was going to clunk it all up with some sticky stuff. So this is my film canister that I'm going to be firing, and I've just kind of duct taped a cone and some fins on it and at the end I put a screw on it. The screw is to help, just like a dart, to help it stay forward, pointing forward the whole time so that it doesn't go all wobbly in the air. Now when I fire, this is how I do it. Quick shot in there, quick shot on there, no rush to put it on. Make sure you get her on tight and let's see how it goes. way out there. Well that's my version of the uh, Kim K exploding film canister. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.